Hello guys and welcome to this Go.4 tutorial where you will learn how to add gradient shading to your dynamic text fonts. This is what it looks like and you go into the material, then to the gradient, click here again and you can move the sliders around, change the gradient. You can even add more colors here. Definitely like that. By moving the sliders you can decide how much you want this text to be shaded more white. Something to note is that if you drag this guy up and down like so, you can see that this box is determining where the gradient starts at the top and the bottom. All right, so let's get started. I have set up a simple project here. We got an assets folder and inside of there I have a fonts folder and also a font. And you can download this guy from 1001fonts.com. And as you can see, this is free for commercial use. We can minimize. So let's set these things up. Right click the main node, click on add child node, and you want to find the sub view port container. So click on that guy and click on create. Next, right click the sub view port container and add the child node and find the sub view port and click on create. Next, right click the sub view port and click on add child node and find the label and let's click on create. You can rename this guy to text. I'm going to add some text here. It's pretty small now, so we can go down into theme overrides and click on fonts. Click here on empty and click on load. Then go into the assets folder and the font folder and click on the font file that you have downloaded into this folder. Next, we want to change the font size. Click here and click on the font size. I'm going to enter 50 here. So it's going to be a bit bigger. All right. Next, go here to the sub view port container. And we're going to make sure that this guy covers the text here, like so. I'm going to click on the sub view port. You can see we have the X and Y values here. We want them to match with the sub view port container. We can save the file first. You can see what values we have. So it's under layout, transform. And right now it's 445 pixels and 61 pixels high. Go to the sub view port. And here we have the result. We can see the text there. Okay. Next, we're going to go here to the sub viewport container. I'm going to scroll down to the material. Click on the material and click on new shader material. Click here again. I click here on shader and click on new shader. I click on the folder. We're going to go up one folder, going to the assets folder and shaders folder. I'm going to save this guy as text gradient and click on open and click on create okay we now have a shader so we're going to click here again first of all we're going to add the shader move and we're going to have it to be unshaded we're going to add two new variables and let's toggle the distraction free mode so we can see what we are doing and in here we're going to add these two variables we're going to have a sample 2d which is a gradient and it's going to take in the source color and we're going to have a uniform float for the gradient mix amount. So first of all, inside of the fragment method, we are going to add the following line here. We are going to grab the gradient texture and we can grab it as it is with the UV. This is just so we can see something. And next we're going to say that the color RGB is equal to the gradient texture. And this will turn this guy all white. So let's go back here and inside of the material, click on the gradient. Go down here to new gradient texture 1D. Click on the gradient, and you can see we have this black and white thing going all over now. And we're going to change the color first. So we're going to drag these sliders in a bit like so. And you can click on this guy here. This is going to be completely white, and that's okay. Let's take the first guy and let's change this guy to blue. Something like that. All right. Now you want to go to the sub viewport. And you want to scroll down here to transparent PG. And when you click this guy, this is the magic. So here we have the gradient shaded text. And right now it's shaded from blue to white vertically. But we want to be able to rotate this guy around so we can actually shade it in any direction we like. Just above the fragment method, let's maximize this guy again. We are going to add the following guy here. Rotate UV. So let's pull this up a bit more. This guy takes in the UV coordinate. 
and the pivot point that we want to rotate around, and also the rotation here. First, we get the cosinus angle and the sinus angle for the rotation. And then we offset the pivot point. Then we're going to use basic trigonometry to do the rotation. So these are the classic lines here. Rotate around a point. And in our case, it's the UV point here that we are passing in. So now we need to update the fragment method. And what we're going to do is simply to rotate the gradient around with 90 degrees around the center which is 0, 0,5 and 0, 0,5. So if you bring this guy up here, let's use this guy as an example. So up in the corner, we have 0, 0 and 0, 0 for the X and Y coordinate. And if you go down here, we're going to have 1, 1 and 1, 1 for the X and Y coordinate. And what we are doing is we are passing in 0, 0,5 here, which means that we're going to go to the exact middle point here on the texture and say that this is the point we want to rotate around. All right, and we will rotate this guy 90 degrees around. Now, as you might notice, some weird things are happening sometimes. And so now I have to enable the transparent BG again and save the scene. Now, I don't know what's happening, but the 4.1 version currently is containing some bugs that is doing weird things. Anyway, now we can see the text again. So let's go back to the code and in here. All we have to do is just plug in the my UV in here, like so, and save. And you can see now the gradient has now rotated around with 90 degrees. And we can now fiddle around with the settings for this guy. Go into the gradient, and we can move the gradient from the bottom here and put it like there. This looks nice and good, but we want to make it even better. So we can add a few more things. We are going to add some conversion for the grayscale values as well here. Maximize again. Right under the gradient texture, we're going to convert the color into the grayscale value, which we'll find up here, like so. So you can read more about it in the link up here, where these values come from. All right? And right underneath this line, we are going to add the sample color. What we're doing here is that we are taking the gradient texture, and we're saying that we're going to grab the gradient value. And this is only on the x-axis. We don't care about the y-axis. And this is because we have a gradient texture 1D, which is only one pixel high. Okay. So we grab the sample color for that. And now instead of taking the RGB color immediately, we are going to mix the gradient texture color with the sample color using the gradient mix amount that we have right here. And finally, we are going to add two more lines. We're going to get the pixel color from the current texture and its UV. I'm going to preserve the alpha value for the texture like so. Now we can go back to the editor. And we can change the mix mount here to 0, 0,5 instead. And this is going to be less annoying for the eyes now. We can play around with the values here. And you can click on the gradient. And we're going to click on this guy and we can change the colors to whatever we like. We can get some more golden text. Like so. And there you have it. This is the complete shader code. And as usual, you will find the code up on my GitHub page. The link is in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and see you in the next video. Bye for now.